Facebook must find ways to engage its users with businesses because they're the ones who are paying for it. So who is Facebook really working for? You have to follow the money to understand power relationships. And so it's the people who are paying money to Facebook who are the actual users. They're, they're the ones who use it. They're the ones who are served. You, as the person who signed up, is used. You are the product. You are sold to the person who actually pays money. You are not the customer. You are the product. Businesses make contact with Facebook users in many ways. One is when you click a like button on a business's Facebook page. That business can pay Facebook to display a box in the right-hand column of your friends' pages, showing your picture and saying you've liked the business. You can't opt out. But Facebook doesn't call this an advert. They call it a sponsored story. When I press a like button on an ad, um, I'm trying on the Facebook system, I'm affirmatively communicating that I'm associating myself with whatever I'm liking. And what that does is it creates a story. It's a ranking mechanism. I don't know if I would call it an advertisement. Whether you think sponsored stories are really adverts or not, they highlight the critical dilemma for Facebook. How far can it go in using personal information without its users feeling exploited? It says it gives users full control over their privacy, but it also believes a more open world would be better. It's not that people won't care about privacy. I think privacy is a really fundamental thing, and I think everyone cares about it. I think the big cultural change is that now more and more people are finding that they can build a reputation, they can disseminate interesting information, they can help people discover stuff, they get credit for that, they can be a part of discovering other people's stuff. Um, and I just think that people are seeing every day that that's awesome, right? And, um, and that's why I think the world is moving in that direction. But people every day also wake up and I think are like, what stuff do I want to have out there and what don't I? And I don't think that that's going to change. So how much do Facebook's business needs create a tension between privacy and sharing? They've chosen terminology, and at least as important, they've chosen a user interface design that encourages sharing. They've set their defaults in a way that makes it seem like this is the right and normal and natural thing to do. I'm not so sure it really is. I'm not so sure that it's been the way of things or needs to be the way of things for every picture you take to be distributed to hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of people. And yet they've tried to convince us that that's the new normal and that's the way it should be.